higher precision in predicting the occurrence of and the areas affected by severe meteorological phenomena means a shorter time required to make a decision, giving people more time to take precautions in situations of crisis. Dr. Tibula and her team of specialists aim to develop an efficient, seamless now-casting platform that employs deep learning techniques on multiple data sources, including radar, satellite, and weather station observations. The main purpose of the WIMIL project is to attain lower decision times for issuing now-casting warnings compared to current, exclusively human-based decision times. Keep watching Research in the Spotlight to discover how a deep learning-driven platform for an early forecast of severe meteorological phenomena will improve people's response to meteorological danger. Professor Tsibula, thank you for having us today. Thank you as well. Currently, you are implementing a collaborative research project funded under the Norway grants. What is your project about? The Wimili project, which is currently implemented, being implemented within the Norway grant programs, program uh, aims to enhance the performance of weather now casting, uh, which is the short-term prediction of weather, uh, using deep learning techniques applied on radar, satellite, and weather station observations. Our main goal is to develop a deep learning-driven platform uh, for early and accurate forecast of severe weather phenomena. Uh, with the main goal to integrate uh, this platform uh, with the uh, weather warning, the national weather warning system. Beside this forecasting uh, component, uh, the uh, WIMIR system uh, includes an atlas of uh, meteorological um, uh, data. Uh, this atlas is in fact a database of uh, meteorological data uh, that uh, will be useful for uh, operational meteorologists uh, by uh, using statistical and comparative uh, analysis of past weather conditions. The main topics, the main topics of our project, the weather now casting and deep learning, uh, are topics of major importance, both from a scientific and uh, practical perspective. Uh, weather now casting, for example, um, the problem, the main problem that we are approaching, uh, deals with weather forecasting and analysis uh, in the near future for the uh, next zero to six hours, uh, and has an important role in crisis management and risk assessment. So it is a very uh, important problem uh, um, for meteorologists, but also for the scientific community. Uh, nowadays, uh, weather now casting uh, is uh, considered to be a hot topic in meteorology, uh, since uh, there is a, uh, an increasing number of severe weather phenomena uh, around the world. These uh, events, these severe weather events, may lead to damages, uh, loss of properties, goods, and even uh, human lives. Uh, and that is why uh, economic operators, uh, local and central uh, governments, as well as the public at large, are increasingly interested in um, the accuracy of weather predictions. So uh, our main goal uh, is to use uh, deep learning techniques in order to uh, in order to assist meteorologists in short-term weather prediction. And uh, this way uh, we are trying to, uh, to produce uh, or to assist decision-making for high-impact weather. Uh, this problem of uh, issuing now-casting warnings uh, is a difficult task for uh, the operational meteorologists, uh, since they have to take in account, into account a lot of factors uh, such as uh, the evolution of wind speed and direction, uh, the air temperature and pressure, uh, the cloud uh, cover or uh, the effect of uh, various local uh, or various terrain features and climate. Uh, and that is why we are trying to use uh, machine learning techniques in order to, to extract some relevant and meaningful um, Meaningful, meaningful patterns from the meteorological data 
uh, patterns uh, that uh, would be useful to predict the evolution of, uh, of the weather. For example, the supervised learning models that uh, we are currently uh, using in our project, uh, similar to, uh, to the way, let's say, uh, the humans are learning, uh, are, um, are useful or are able to learn from the past to extract some uh, or to find some similar weather events uh, that took place in the same location in the past uh, and are able to, uh, to advise uh, the meteorologists uh, about uh, um, the most likely, uh, regarding the most likely outcomes faster than the human uh, operators can. So uh, somehow to conclude uh, my answer, uh, uh, the problems uh, that we are approaching within uh, the project, the problem and the topics are uh, very important and relevant, uh, but there are also, they are also challenging, uh, both from a scientific and uh, a technical perspective. Are there any partial results that you would like to talk about? After two years of uh, sustained work within the project, uh, we've achieved uh, consistent scientific and technical uh, progress. The WIMIR system, uh, which has been deployed to one of our meteorological partners, the, uh, in fact the Norwegian, uh, the Norwegian partner, benefits from uh, enhanced machine learning models that are able to, to predict the values of uh, radar products up to one hour in the future uh, and also includes an atlas uh, which uh, provides, uh, is able to provide uh, intelligent information retrieval. The WIMIL, uh, our WIMIL solution uh, uh, includes uh, uh, deep learning, deep learning methods and techniques for precise now casting. Uh, and also big data, data approaches for uh, managing uh, the large volumes of meteorological data. The purpose uh, of the forecast, forecasting platform is to generate short-term prediction of meteorological products of interest, both satellite and radar meteorological products, thus facilitating early and accurate forecasts of severe phenomena. The forecasting platform provides uh, real-time and near-real-time near meteorological data for the embedded machine learning model and uses this model to generate short-term predictions of uh, meteorological products of interest, both automatically and on demand. To conclude, uh, the first two years of project implementation uh, have brought consistent achievements uh, on all fronts, let's say. The machine learning models uh, were uh, implemented, were developed, implemented and continuously improved. Uh, we have reached a final prototype of uh, the Atlas of Meteorological Observations. Uh, our Norwegian partners uh, have also uh, reached uh, an advanced uh, prototype for the forecasting platform. Uh, we've also obtained very good results uh, on the dissemination part as well. We already have scientific publications in high-impact journals. We have also uh, succeeded to disseminate the project results to the public at large through some uh, public events and uh, some workshops that we have organized within the project. Our main goal regarding uh, this dissemination part was to uh, raise awareness in the scientific community on the challenges of uh, deep learning, um, machine learning or broadly artificial intelligence based uh, scientific research in highly interdisciplinary domains uh, with an emphasis on the purposes of the current project. More information about the current results uh, of our project uh, are available on the project website. Which is the social impact of your project? The direct beneficiaries of uh, the WIMIL system are uh, the national meteorological institutes, uh, with the public at large being the most important indirect beneficiary. So uh, the, most, uh, the most important beneficiary as, uh, beneficiaries, as, as I mentioned, uh, are the populations from both Romania and Norway 
will be better protected from dangers of severe uh, phenomena. Given the increasing number of uh, severe weather incidents uh, around the world, uh, we expect WEMIL uh, to contribute uh, to, or to have a tangible and immediate benefit to the public at large, for the public at large. Uh, we would also expect uh, WEMIL to contribute to uh, crisis management and risk prevention uh, by increasing the awareness of the population of local and central authorities uh, regarding the, uh, the safety uh, measures that have to be uh, taken in order to uh, reduce the effects of severe weather phenomena. We also believe that um, integrating WEMIL uh, with the uh, uh, severe weather assessment process uh, processes uh, used in the in the Romanian uh, Meteorological Administration as well as uh, in the Norwegian Meteorological Institute is an important building block that uh, ensures uh, the immediate safety uh, for both populations in Romania and Norway. From the authorities' viewpoint, uh, the platform will help minimize the negative effects of severe weather phenomena, as well as to provide additional time, uh, time for organizing action in situation of crisis, uh, and uh, also the improvement of uh, now casting warning is expected to contribute to a more careful planning of uh, responses to emergency situations at both local and central administration levels. To add to all the above, uh, the platform may help increasing the population's confidence in uh, the national weather warning systems which we expect will help uh, minimize uh, the negative effects of severe weather. We are discussing a collaborative project involving a team of researchers with various backgrounds and an international partnership with a prestigious institute in Norway. What does it mean to you and the team you coordinate such a partnership with? And what are the benefits? Indeed, we are collaborating with a prestigious uh, institute in Norway, the Norwegian Meteorological Institute. In fact, our project is sustained by a multidisciplinary consortium formed by uh, a Romanian team in machine learning from Babes Boyo University, a Romanian team uh, in operational in research and operational meteorology from the Romanian Meteorological Administration and two teams from the Norwegian Meteorological Institute, one team with expertise in software development and the other one with expertise in uh, the meteorological research. Such a collaboration, uh, such an international partnership obviously has a lot of uh, benefits. In my view, the main benefit uh, is the, the opportunity that all our team members have to work in such, uh, in such an interdisciplinary consortium uh, with expertise in three main uh, research uh, and application domain domains, uh, the domain of intelligent systems and methods, the field of software engineering and development, uh, and the operational and research in the field of meteorology. An additional benefit of our collaboration is uh, that uh, it contributes to, uh, to increasing the know-how of uh, the joint team members in all the, in all the fields uh, that we are addressing and also generates uh, high quality scientific results. What would you like people keep in mind about your project? We would like our WEMIL project to raise proper awareness in the community regarding both the importance of the now casting problem at hand, uh, as well as the, the challenges of applying uh, deep learning, machine learning and artificial intelligence for solving complex and difficult problems such as weather now casting. We would also like people keep in mind that our uh, WEMIL solution is the first attempt in Romania uh, to use artificial intelligence techniques and more specifically deep learning for early detection of severe weather phenomena uh, and to integrate this component with the severe weather warning system. 
Thank you for watching Research in the Spotlight, a podcast for scientists and passionate science people made under the Norway Grants Research Program by the Executive Agency for Higher Education, Research Development and Innovation Funding as Program Operator. Until the next time, like and share this episode if you think science is a key to a better future.